All right. The time is upon us, ladies and fucking gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just be very clear. Uh, to the fans' viewership, Grassroots Podcast, check, uh, check us out. Subscribe on uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook, everywhere. Hit the noti notification button. Um, our fans asked us to do this episode. We were probably going to do it anyway just because we're, we're super nerds, especially when it comes to anything Marvel or just superhero-like shit because we can escape from, um, you know, your, you guys as president. So because of that, we're in a very, very great state, I would say. Um, so I'm Brandon Killer BH Hall. I'm Aaron Ashley Simon. I'm Wilson. And uh, our guest, uh, Ice, no stranger to the to the family. Yeah, just Ice. Yeah, just Ice. Just Ice. <laughs> um, you can you can hit him up. I think you you still have the the foot action deals going yeah, on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, family um, and friends. Yeah, definitely. Family off. and friends right, coming up. So make sure to be sure to uh, hit him up on on Twitter, Instagram. He'll definitely uh, hit, hit you guys up with some tickets. All right, let's get to the shits, ladies and gentlemen. So this is our Marvel episode. Um, we've been talking through this. You guys have been walking us through, uh, walking with us through this entire fiasco that is Marvel MCU, and we are here finally. Mm -hmm. We are finally here. So we thought we would first do our due diligence and uh, kind of give some backstory to you guys as far as the, the timeline and try to break down a lot of the crucial things that have happened throughout these past 11 years and leading up to uh, Endgame that's out. So, uh, let's start with the actual chronological timeline. Now, we went with the theatrical uh, releases of the movies just because it makes sense. There, there's two other ways that you can do it, but you would have to incorporate Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and humans and a bunch of other stuff, which then it makes shit really wonky. We're not doing that. So, we're going to fast forward to the actual theatrical release. We're starting off with Iron Man 1, uh, followed by Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor 1, Captain America, and then Avengers 1. Now, that ends uh, phase one of Marvel. So we're clear. That ends phase one, and then we start with phase two. Uh, we're right back with Iron Man 3, uh, Thor 2, Captain America 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Avengers 2, and then Ant-Man 1. That ends uh, phase two of Marvel. Marvel, uh, and we were talking about this off air. The, <laughs> phase, phase three, three is <laughs> phase three is stacked. <laughs> like when we really start to list out these movies, phase phase three may be my the best phase out of all of this. Like if I'm in phase two or one, I'm feeling away looking at phase three. <laughs> so we have Cap three, uh, we have Doctor Strange, we have and, Guardians. And hmm? Cap three is Civil War. Yeah, Civil like, yeah, like, yeah. So they know. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. There? Good clarification. What's the cap Three. Yeah, Cap, Cap, yeah, that's yeah, Civil War. Yeah, when you hear Cap, that's that's Civil War. Just look that's, at that. They start in phase two yeah. of Civil War. Fresh out the gate, Winter Soldier. So, um, Cap, Cap three. Then we go into Doctor Strange. Then we go into Guardians of the Galaxy two. Then we go into Spider Man Homecoming. Then we go into Thor three. Then we go into Black Panther. And then we go into Infinity War. Then we go into Ant Man two. Then we go into Captain Marvel. And then present day, we are here. Avengers End Game. End Game. <sighs> That's crazy. My gosh, yeah. Just that looking is... at that. That's looking at it, right? Don't it make you excited? I'm really well, excited. I've been about excited this. for about a month. I've been excited since I got my tickets. Yeah. Now nice. let 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 me just say. Uh, if, if you're worried right now and you're about to hit the eject button on listening to this and or viewing this, this is a spoiler free, even, even though I, I feel like and we all feel like if you haven't watched up until this point, um, I, don't, I don't really know what you're doing why with you your here? life. Yeah, like why yeah, are you here? Crazy. <laughs> even be watching yeah, us. like you shouldn't be watching this at this point. <laughs> But, but you're watching this because you know what we're talking about. You know what week it is. Yeah, you yeah, know what time it is. yeah. Y'all know, y'all know how we no, give it yeah, up. You got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, uh, this yeah. Is be like, a spoiler for you. Yeah. So if you if you hear now, you might as well just pay attention and just catch up when you can. Um, all right. So let's go over some facts. A lot of people were uh, confused with the timeline. It, a lot of people were really thrown off with um, the intro of Captain Marvel. So I think let's let's start to break down a, a little bit of what's happening here. Let's go all the way back uh, to the Tesseract. The Tesseract actually really does start in AD, um, and that's with Odin in, on Asgard. Um, Odin was really the first person to wield and have all of the Infinity Stones in his possession. Um, now, it's rumored that uh, the reason why the glove was dismantled and, and Odin let them all scatter across the galaxy is really just because he saw what the power was and how we could mani uh, manipulate you and didn't want uh, that power to be released into the universe. 
present, uh, uh, not present day, I should say, after following those events, that's really when uh, Captain America and then um, Captain Marvel kind of fall into the, the time bracket when you're, when you're thinking Tesseract. Um, and then I, I wanted to also uh, point out there's a few other things that are very, very crucial. Um, I want to talk about the Kree uh, civilization. So, again, uh, we learn about the Kree early on. Uh, and and, and I, I realize this, you, you learn about the Kree on the sneak. So let's go back to uh, Thor 1. Thor 1 is the real introduction of the Kree. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. And that's obviously because Loki is really of Kree descent. You find this out during watching the, the movie and you realize, okay, he's actually a Kree. Now, if, if you're following Kree um, to consumers, it's looked at as being a, a hostile uh, civilization and, and they're the, the, the bad guys, for lack of a better word. Uh, we learn in Captain Marvel that that is not the case, actually. So um, I thought that that was interesting. The other thing I want to point out is um, Hydra and, and, the, and the Nazi uh, Union and then how S.H.I.E.L.D. plays a, a major part into that. Well, Hy and also how Kree plays a major part into Hydra. Yes, yes. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we're, again, we're trying to cut this because there's a lot. If you haven't caught up, then it's too much to, to catch up, but we're going to do our best. <laughs> Uh, Kree civilization, the reason why Kree is so pr powerful, number one, is because they're shapeshifters. They can be in, in different realms and different galaxies and travel um, and pretty much do shapeshifting. Um, so you never know if you're engaging with the Kree or, or dealing with the Kree at any point. Um, the other thing that's really uh, important is that when you're talking about Hydra uh, and the Nazis and, and S.H.I.E.L.D., a lot of those members were already Kree members. We, we, we learn about this in Captain Marvel and how that all comes about. With, with the whole finding the Tesseract and, and how that happens. Fast forwarding, you also learn, which I thought was interesting, in, in, in Captain Marvel, um, in the comic books, and we all know how the, the Faye brothers have, have deviated from the actual story. Thank God, by uh, the way, yeah, because yeah. I just want to say, everybody did not read the comic books. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of us, myself included, who don't really care what's in the comic books. Yeah. Like, I get into these discussions all the time, and... Everybody's quick to say, but in the comics, bro, I don't care about the comics. Yeah, I'm watching yeah. these movies right yeah. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's a, it's it's the, this is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mm -hmm. which is totally different from yeah. the Marvel comic universe. Yeah. And people yeah. got to understand that. Like, they, they're they not going to follow to the letter what happened in the comic books. Mm -hmm. Or do we want them to? Why, I was going to say, do we really want them to do that, though? No. Like, because you you know. No, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. No. Even though I like how they sprinkle in some of the comic book, f like, things. Yeah. Like, I, I like how they, they the characters or, or the powers or how they build on the actual stories or they, they even twist the story. Like, I even, like, a lot of people were upset that uh, in Captain Marvel that Captain Marvel was not a man because in the comic books he's a man. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, again, it's, it's the woman that is Captain Marvel and that works with uh, Fury and all of these people to protect the Tesseract. I thought that was a good twist. I also think it, it is Marvel's way of paying homage to women. I, I do think that. But then also makes sense with, like, dur during the early, it was, like, the early 90s, late 80s, mm -hmm. around where it was, uh, where it was um, in. Like, <clears throat> around that time, like, women had it hard, especially when it comes to flights and yeah. navies and all that stuff. So to have oh, another woman be kind of your mentor, mm -hmm. it made more sense yeah. than having just, like, this man who's just a, a head of times and all that stuff. So Yeah, definitely. Um, I, also, let's, let's fast forward back a little bit. You also learn that um, vibranium may be one of the... the, the, the oldest substance. Yeah, the yeah. Old, oldest <laughs> metals. Yes. It's the, it, 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 I almost put, after looking at the timeline, after watching all these movies again, vi I put vibranium up there with the Tesseract. Well, yeah, because yeah. didn't, didn't it come... It, it came even before, like, the AD period of time. Yeah, before, before AD... Then. Uh, vibranium was found in Africa. I can't remember what part of Africa because, again, we've been cramming our brains with a lot of this. But it was discovered in, it was in Africa. Uh, I thought East it was... Africa. Yes. Vibranium meteorite hit East Africa, and Wakanda was found, obviously, to worship it, but mm -hmm. that's where it hit Thank originally. You. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, because of that, um, an, a, a nice fun fact, and we're going to get into fun facts. Remind me about, uh, bring me back to vibranium because gotcha. I, I learned a lot about vibranium with doing all of this. Really interesting. Vibranium. <laughs> again though plays a crucial part you know who else plays a crucial crucial part in, in just this whole thing is uh, Fury Hank 
uh, what's Hank's last name? Pim. Uh, huh? Pim. P- Hank Pim. And then also um, uh, Howard Stark. Howard Stark um, really, really is important with kind of setting up the, 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 the fall or the rise of, I'll say, all of these Marvel characters and then the fall and then the rebirth. He is the, the sole purpose. He's the first person that really started to delve into uh, quantum physics. He started to delve into um, metals like vibranium. He started to delve into um, alternate universes. And we again, we discover this along, uh, when we look into um, uh, Captain America, the first one. And then also they circle back to it with Captain Marvel, which I thought was was pretty cool that, you know, you start with the, uh, Captain America and, and go into that little dark history with all of that, and then you kind of end on that same note, even though you're kind of changing the timeline. And not only that, don't forget, um, Tony found the old Howard Stark blueprints, which yeah. actually gave him how to make the arc reactor. Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, like the really functional. One. Yeah, so Howard Stark is Tony Stark's father, uh, genius, and also, to Ice's point, he left a lot of breadcrumbs for um, for Stark to follow. I also think he left breadcrumbs for Doctor Strange. And I'll, I'll get into my, my little conspiracy theory shit a little bit mm-hmm. in this episode. But I do think that that's what happened. It deals with the quantum realm. Yes, yes. Um, I've, I've, I've looked up a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, quantum realm is going to be parallel in this in this ending of phase uh, three. It's 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 like it it uh, if you haven't been paying attention between the little hints that they've been given between Ant Man between yep. uh, Captain Marvel between all of the time travel hinting that they've done, you'd have to be hard pressed and or an idiot to not realize that some sort of tra- uh, time travel is going to be occurring. Absolutely, and that's probably also why people were like, "Why did Ant Man two go after Infinity War? Like yeah. that doesn't make yeah. sense." No, it's going to make sense because the quantum realm is going to probably have a very drastic effect on Endgame. And the fact that Thanos, when he snapped, and people think they're dead, we were talked about, it may not necessarily mean that they're dead. It may be the beginning of the Mm multi-universes. So that's the other thing. All right, so I... didn't think of it that way. Yeah, I I want to jump ahead now, because you you take me to a very interesting point. We're going to go into some Easter eggs now. Um, So let's first start off. I want to, and I remember now, so I want to circle back to vibranium. I I, I talked about vibranium being super, super important, um, and you discover that, again, with Howard Stark, but you also, and that's how how marvelous, genius. They reintroduced the the power of vibranium because vision is made out of vibranium. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Vision's skin is made out of vibranium, and, and... housed together by the Mind Stone. Yep, and it was one of the most strongest element that was able to even hold it and contain it. Correct. Right. It's one of the only metals in the world that can house and contain a, a Power Stone. Now, the other thing that I learned with doing mad research on this is that um, I didn't know that you can't use one stone against another stone. Think about what I just said. So if I have a mind stone and you have uh, the, the time stone, mm-hmm. I can't use my stone against you. Or, or I can't use the same stone against you. So if I have a time stone, you have a time stone, rather, yeah. I can't use it against you. Wait, but what Boy, about the other stone? two time stones now? Well, thank you for asking that very right. obvious question. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> of course. Hence us going back into time travel. First theory I've, I've read is that, and seen, too, is that uh, that's why time travel is so important. Uh, And again, this is where it kind of does tie in a little bit the comic books. But the grand scheme of things is that um, the real, real superhero right now that's coming to really save the day is Ant-Man. I know he's the lowest-selling Marvel character. I know that people think that he is a joke. They just look at him as a hacker that got some tech (laughs) and and is now just wowing. No, he's actually very, very important. And without him... They don't beat Th- uh, Thanos. They don't win. That's why they were like, where's Ant-Man? Correct. That's why they kept asking for him. We, and we read a lot of comments like, yeah. yo, what, why they keep asking for him? He wasn't even that good. He didn't do, he didn't do anything. Yeah, he did. He, while while all, of this, all of these wars happen, he's breaking into government buildings. He's stealing government research. He's also taking pictures and learning about the quantum realm on accident and now has mastered this. And he saying, got it. Don't forget, he went in and got yeah, out. Correct. He's the only one that was he's able to go in and out unharmed. 
was the only one mm-hmm. and to not have side effects outside of the one side effect where he can now um, he has um, a connection with the quantum realm. That's how he was able to find the original uh, wasp. wasp. Mm-hmm. So he is very important. We need to just make that clear. He yeah. is very, very, very important. I'm just trying to see how he get out. That's what I want to know. That's, That's my yeah. biggest thing. I need to know how I he need, got out. I need, I need to know. That needs to be in the first yeah, 10 I need to know. Need even to though, <laughs> again, right even though, I, I, uh, I don't even know if this is a spoiler, but again, um, the original original wasp did say that uh, if you looked at the uh, end the the middle ending credit because not the end credit the middle ending credit of uh, Ant Man two she specifically says towards the end she says hey be careful in there there's going to be some pockets and if you fall into a civilization there are other little mini multiverses in the quantum realm. That's where she was living for quite some time. I think that he finds one of these realms that she was inhabited at for all of these years. I think they help him get out. That's how I think he gets out of the quantum realm. Now, how he manages to to know to time jump, that's my question. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm that's excited. I'm saying, man. Um, so that's that's one thing I wanted to point out. Number two, a, a little fun fact about Stan Lee. I know everyone, you know, first off, uh, R.I.P. to the legend Stan Lee. Yeah. I mean, he's made my childhood and now my adulthood complete, I think, at and this he, point. And he, does, he did some historical things, like especially with the Black Panther yeah, and stuff man. like that. Yeah, man. Like, I, shout, shout out to him. Um, number one. Y- real, before mm-hmm. you even, how'd you feel when you saw Captain Marvel? And you saw the Stan Lee. Listen, <laughs> I felt like a little kid seeing that smile again. Like no, I mean, um, you know when when the, the Marvel intro roll, mm-hmm. I usually show clips from the movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, but yeah, this time yeah, yeah. It was all, it was Stan, all Lee. Stan Lee. I, yeah. I melted. It, it, I melted. It got me. I melted. It got me. Yeah, I, I melted. It got me. Man, you, man, you was there for the thing. I'm sitting there like, yo, this is. I, I, I can't. I can't no, do that this. That was the other joint we was at. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but also, yeah, no, it I. Got me. Yeah, also, it really got me, too, in uh, Spider-Verse. The Spider-Verse shit? That got me. Fam, let me be clear. For I had those to let that... my gun off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I had to bring it back. Like, sure. I had to just... That one good time. it was one of the more touching things I think I've seen. I, I the last time I ain't never been really affected by a cartoon since like Lion King. Yeah. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like the last one when I saw no, uh, up. Oh no, well yeah, up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 oh well for me it was Coco. I felt that. I cried at Coco. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's get back on track. Sorry, 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 guys. Sorry. Um but yeah, Stanley in, in classic Stanley form. Uh, amazing cameos in, into uh, Spider-Man, into the Spideyverse, and then also in uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, he gives a, a nice, warm smile. A lot of people don't know, and the Fahey brothers just came out and, and confirmed that Stan Lee in all of these movies, even uh, the ones with Tobey Maguire, all these people, Stan Lee has been the exact same character the entire time. So when he's, when he's in the museum, for example, um, in uh, Captain America 1, uh, the middle, no, the ending credit. The uh, suit gets stolen. Yeah, the suit gets stolen, and he says, oh, man, I'm definitely getting fired for this. He he really did get fired. <laughs> and then the next time you see him, he, he's a bus driver, or he's a UPS worker, or he's working at a newsstand. He legitimately, he's been the, the exact same character, uh, which I thought was fun. Fired. Yeah, and still getting fired. Just, <laughs> just find new jobs. Yeah. Uh, the other fun fact Hello is that... Back. Well, yeah, the other fun fact is, um, which I thought was so cool, is that uh, Stan Lee is also a part of the the uh, the Watchers. He is um, one of the people. So, what movie was this from? Uh, it's one of the Marvel movies. Guardian, thank you. Guardians of the Galaxy Two, where it cuts to the the middle of uh, the the first uh, ending uh, scene. And you see the Watchers. The Watchers are, are uh, they're the people that actually kind of watch all of the universes in the Marvel MCU. They're the ones that manage it. They 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 pretty much they're they're the order. You see Stan Lee in, a, in an astronaut suit sitting next to them having a casual conversation. You're like, oh, that's another Stan Lee, um, you know, cameo. It is, in fact, he is a part of the Watchers, which I thought was cool. And the Fahey brothers went and came out and finally confirmed it because I read that along. I was like, oh, no, nah, that doesn't make sense. But it, in fact, is true. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, so th- there was a big debate going on, and we were talking about this earlier, in, in far, as far as who the first Avenger is. I'm I'm gonna go with the real first Avenger is Captain Marvel, only just because um, in Captain Marvel you find out that the whole name Avengers, the initiative, everything 
comes when Fury, Nick Fury, finds out that there are other people from other worlds that are extremely strong. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, we, I don't ever, if I don't have you, Captain Marvel, I don't, I don't know what, I, what to do. I got to go figure this shit out. So would you, would you say that, that she is the first one or she's the first in terms of inspiration for it? Because remember That's at that scene going. where he was thinking about everything and he went and retyped the name? The Protector mm -hmm. Initiative. Yeah. yeah. And then he became the Avenger. Oh, uh, maybe. maybe. I, I got Captain America as the first one. You still got Cap? Why do you have Cap, though? Over, because, over Captain Marvel? Because Kind of what you were just saying. Like, she, she became the inspiration for, I need to create a team of heroes on our side. Mm -hmm. She's gone. I, I got a way to reach her. If I need her in the in the utmost emergency, but, but I need I need I need a home front. I need gotcha. I need the yeah. Avengers right here on Earth to handle whatever comes here. Mm -hmm. That starts with Cap. Gotcha. Well, yeah, because he is he, he, he does start the initiative. Okay, all right. So that that's that's debugged. Here's my question that I posed, and I wrote it in a very yeah. funny way, and I caught ice off off, off guard. <laughs> you catch me, baby. Who who's <laughs> the strongest MCU character present day? <laughs> strong in terms of what? Just strongest. strongest, strongest. Just strongest. I have my answer. I have and my answer too. Y'all, y'all not gonna believe me, but I have my answer. Right. Let's go with Wilson. Wilson, what is your answer? Who do you think is the strongest? I always go with Hulk, man. Hulk? No matter what. Did you not see him get trashed in <laughs> Infinity oh. War? Yo, yo, hold on, tell <laughs> me. He got trashed by the stones. No, he got oh, trashed no, he got by trashed Thanos. By the he didn't get yeah, with stones. General. No, he, he got had one trashed. Stone. He had one stone. He had a power stone. Still a stone. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's going with Hulk. He's going off his sheer physicality. The combinations was, those, the combinations was connecting. I'm still going with Hulk. You know, you what, know what, what, what stone did he have? The power stone. The power stone. Power stone. <laughs> but, <laughs> so that's your theory. Just, the power stone did it all. Without that stone, what? He beats Hulk He still beats Hulk's ass. Hell yeah. Without the stone? I'm going to tell you why. If you look at every fight Hawk had, it's always been thrashing. He's never went up against nobody that knew how to fight. Mm -hmm. That's why when Thanos hit him with the little throat shot, it fucked him up. He, he didn't like, know what oh, to do. He, he steps back. He's just used to wailing his arms and, and, and But, but that throws, he was fucking juiced up. <laughs> <laughs> he was juiced up. Let's juice up the Hulk. Give Hulk the same stone. Rap. Well, uh, since we're here. Um, that number one, great breakdown, Ice, because that really is what it is. And I had to read that over and over because I couldn't figure it out. I, I remember me and you kept talking. About, I kept saying, yo, why did he get trashed? Why is he so scared? It really is because he's never he's fought, never fought an opponent that r was like that. He like, never fought. Yeah, he's never yeah. had to do that. He's like, thrashed. He's thrown people, right. but he's Correct. never had to, like, Think about Ragnarok. Up. Think about the fight with Thor. Yeah. On okay. Ragnarok. It's literally just Hulk smash. Mm -hmm. That's his move. Yeah. That's that's his fight. Same thing when he beats up Loki in the first Avengers. It's the smash. Loki is talking all this, hey, you peasant, I am a god. Dang, he said dang. he and he just starts slamming. He he's not fighting. He's he's, he's a thrasher. He's, he's not, not prepared, prepared for that. that. I thought he was just talking about strength. No, 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 no. Well, we, but that's why I posed that question. I <laughs> said yeah. when you say strong, what do you mean by strong? Yeah. I'm just strength, I'm just thinking pure strength. All right. So we your your pick is, is Hulk. I'm going Hulk. Okay, you're trash. What's yours? <laughs> See, okay. Think, think, think. I'm thinking because strongest doesn't necessarily have to mean like actual physical strength. It could mean strength in terms of abilities, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my gosh. Think. Come on. All right. So I'm just because. Just because. Okay. And I say this just because I know that these three people are probably going to be in very important for, for Endgame. But I don't know which one's going to be... Obviously, we talked about Ant-Man being it, but mm -hmm. they all can have a play. Ant-Man. Okay. Captain Marvel. Okay. Or Doctor Strange. Okay. And I say that because, one, Captain Marvel has already shown that she has the inner... She, she's, she has the inner energy and strength within her that mm -hmm. she could pretty much beat anyone. And yeah, based on the comic books, and she's just, yes. And based on the comic book, she is at one point the strongest yeah. Marvel character. Ant-Man, just because the fact that he was able to jump into a realm and be okay and no one was able to do that, mm -hmm. I don't think it's just the suit that allows him to do that. Yeah. I yeah. think there has to be something more that goes into how, why he was able to be uh, within the realm and not be affected as yeah. much. So there has to be something else with it. Mm -hmm. And I think Dr. Strange, because I think Dr. Strange, he's one of those characters that's always several steps ahead of mm -hmm. everyone. And I think that what we saw in the Affinity Awards with him, mm -hmm. 
there's more to play with it. Elaborate, elaborate, I, I elaborate, think, elaborate, elaborate. Yeah, I conversations I, we had yeah, about that part elaborate, alone. Like, elaborate. For, all right, so the fans and viewers, man. Aaron is about to say something <laughs> that we've been rap, trying to wrap our brains around for quite some time, so just please pay attention. This is very important. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to think of how uh, you guys can jump in, too, because I have a little bit of headache, so my brain's a little mush. So Doctor Strange, obviously, you know, he has, he controls time. Mm-hmm. And the time stone was one of the most important things that ended up with Thanos snapping and everyone disappearing and, and, and um, you know, quote unquote dying. But as we saw in Doctor Strange, the movie before, when he, he was able to repeat instances when people yep. died constantly over and over and over again, he was able to set that so that it can happen. The question is, was he able to set it for this situation when Thanos snapped Bingo. where he can replay it? Or he has, or something has to happen in order for it to replay it. Yes. That's why I'm, I'm. That's why I named those three because either one of them I feel like is going to be super important. Whether it is the revival of people, whether mm-hmm. it is se- is setting up a new multi universe direction, mm-hmm. or ultimately re- redoing that restart where then it all goes yeah. back and then a different outcome may happen from it. So, so that was something that I read. I read a lot that. Um, I still disagree with your strongest character though yeah I, I do but i think he's i think he is the catalyst i read a bunch of things and i and and it proved a lot of the theories that number one uh, as uh strange is passing the time stone to thanos it is er, it's, it's being in use like there's that, that this thread has been going around for so long is that the only time you or the the times when you know that the stones are being used is when the mm-hmm. stones are glowing um and as dr strange goes to pass the time stone to Thanos, it is in fact glowing when he when he hands it to him. I've also read that again, um, the one million whatever that big number is that he spews That's out, mm-hmm. that is one of the instances we were we were literally watching an instance where they lost. That wasn't the actual thing that took place. I'll say it again. Yeah. That was just one of the one million instances that that Marvel and, and the Faye brothers allowed us to see where the Avengers lose. He also preferences it by saying, hey, Tony says, why would you do that? Pr- prior to that, if you guys remember on the spaceship, he says to him, listen, nothing is going to get in my way. If it's you or that kid, the, the stone is of utmost importance your lives will be sacrificed before that stone goes into the hands. Tony calls him an asshole and, and goes about his day. That's why Tony Stark was so enraged when he looks at him. He says, why would you do that? Like, we had a deal. Why would you go and give him a stone? And Strange looks at him and said, it's the only way. Now we are in the end game." The end game again, has only been mentioned twice. Once in Avengers Infinity War and in um, uh, Iron Man uh, 2 after... Wait, am I getting my timeline wrong? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where am I at? No. Uh, Where was is... It, was it Avengers Ultron? Uh, after Avengers Ultron. So it's... Yeah, in Avengers Ultron. Avengers Ultron. Thank basically. you. Mm-hmm. So when they're in the lab and they start talking about... Um, this is when they really start to talk about Ultron. They start to try to figure out a way of, of how to beat him. He says, listen, uh, up there, that that's the end game. He was like, up there. N- yeah, nothing, n- up, some, up, something up there. That's the end game. He's like, I've seen it. I, f- I feel it. I'm haunted by it. That's what he's referencing. He's referencing these moments. I, I, and again, it's just one of, one of the theories. But the theory is uh, Stark's dreams are not dreams. These are actual things that have been embedded into his mind by Doctor Strange that leads him to where we are now. It's giving him a glimpse of all of these outcomes that have happened throughout all of these uh, scenarios where he now has to be like, yo, pay attention, because this is the he's one. He's giving them the information. He's giving, he's he's leaving, he's giving bread them crumbs. the breadcrumbs. Correct. That's what he's doing. All right, so we got off on a tangent. All right, so who, who, who's your uh, who's your strongest pick? Thanos still has six Infinity Stones. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I, I, I can debunk that. I can debunk that. I'm listening. Um, I saw the damage gauntlet. I, I'm looking at the damage gauntlet. I'm also I saw a video where um, they slowed down when uh, Thor hits him with the the uh, with the axe. Remember when Thor comes down and throws the axe into oh, his yeah. chest? Greatest scene ever. Correct. One of my favorite scenes. Um, 
the reason why he's actually hurt. <laughs> That's yeah. why the gauntlet, he uses the gauntlet to heal himself, which from what I've, I've read in the way that they frame it, it's something that is forbidden. You can't use it to do that. It's not meant for that. It's meant for the other reasons to whatever, where, whatever it is. But because he was so damaged by, uh, by Thor, he had to use that. And in return, it took up so much energy. That's how the gauntlet now breaks. Mm -hmm. The other thing is when you see him thrusting himself back into, um, into the realm, there's a different shimmer of colors that are there. Um, it, it signifies which stone is being used when he's traveling. Normally, it was like a rainbowish color, the same, the same color that you see hit, uh, uh, that Thor uses to hit mm -hmm. uh, Thanos, is the same thing you see when Thanos has used it in the past. When you see Thanos disappear, there's a particular color that shines. Like that it's like correct. A mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a purple stellar that, uh, stone that lets you know that he only used the space stone, and again, that gauntlet is pretty pretty beat up at this point mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also fast forwarding if you've all if you guys have already seen the uh, new trailers yeah. you also see that um he put back on his his gauntlet gear uh thanos did mm -hmm. which again the only time he ever uses that um is when he feels like he really needs to protect himself i thought that that was interesting someone also pointed out that the same technology that he uh, that he used to send down Loki, um, I can't remember his minions that came down in Infinity so sorry. War. Uh -huh. Sorry. So sorry. Thank you. The same technology that was used to send them down is also what Thanos uses to appear when he has this in-depth conversation. Correct. I don't think it's the stones, though. No, I'm saying it was the space stone is what sent the correct. story down. Correct. That's what he's using. So he, he used I, the arc reactor, opened the, used the space stone. That's correct. So I, I don't know that he has the gauntlet anymore or if the gauntlet is in good conditions I, I i don't know that's again well, clearly nothing he confirmed clearly he fears someone or yeah. something yeah. in oh. order for him to put it on i'm glad you brought me to my next point <laughs> we're gonna circle back to captain marvel <laughs> captain marvel is so important even though a lot of people um they don't really like the. They don't like Brie Larson's acting, and I'll, I'll say it. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of her acting in the movie. Her running I, was terrible. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I do. <laughs> I, I do think though, oh the story that was told in there is super important. It yeah. fills in so many gaps. It was just. It was people. Okay, the one thing that people felt with Captain Marvel is like, wait, but they don't. They don't tie this really back, and that, it's supposed to be an introduction. Yes. You're supposed to learn about Captain Marvel, the backstory of it. So when she does come into play for Endgame, yeah. you're not asking all these exactly. questions. But it's also a dual intro because we've never had a Nick Fury movie. You finally learn mm -hmm. how Fury loses his eye. You finally learn why he has all of these trust issues. You finally learn what really gave him the motivation to even, to even want to do this. Yep. <laughs> he was ready to quit. He wasn't trying to do this. He was a regular cop walking the beat and stumbled on this shit at a donut shop and by a blockbuster. You say, what so, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, well, that's the other thing. But you, the blockbuster. Yeah, word. But you also, um, you, you discover that um, Thanos may already know about Captain Marvel. Hence why he sent Loki to Earth first. Because everyone kept saying, well, if Thanos is so strong, why won't he just go do this before? He's already conquered the Earth. He's conquered all of these galaxies. Why hasn't he just gone down there in the first start and just taken the stones like he wanted to? Because he knew Captain Marvel was there. Captain Marvel is the only person that is a formidable opponent right now without the gauntlet. That can kill him with no problem. So... To test the waters, that's why we have the alien invasion. That's why you have all of these people. That's why you have Loki coming in to test the waters. Once he sees that Loki fails, but he fails in the sense of he knew Loki would fail. He knew that Loki would not beat them, but he wanted to confirm that that Tesseract was, in fact, on Earth. He wanted to also know, all right, are there people defending it? If there, if there are people, can I take them? <laughs> Once he realizes, oh, I can wash them. Well, he had to deal with Loki anyway, though. Well, yeah. You know. That yeah. was, all right, fine. You do this. I get you want to destroy the earth because Loki had his beef with Thor. Correct. Yeah. So Correct. I was like, all right, you want to destroy the earth, the earth? Fine. I want the stone. Yeah. That's all I care about. Correct. I don't care about nothing else. Correct. So if, if, if I could kill two birds with one stone, mm -hmm. I body that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that's what you did there. 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 But yeah, if, if I could kill two birds with one stone, then fine. Yeah. All right, go yeah. ahead. You knock that out. 
cool. I just want the stone. So that was the other thing. Um, let's say if Loki, because I, re- I read an alternate universe theory. Let's say Loki. Yeah. Let's say if let's say Loki does successfully beat the Avengers, and then he also manages to obtain uh, the second stone, which he would have had two stones. When you think about it, he already has one in the scepter. Yep. I didn't realize the mind stone is in the scepter. Correct. The mind stone mm-hmm. has um, and, and and that was given to him by Thanos. Correct. Yep. This was so all here, gear. I'm giving yeah, you. I'm giving you a stone already. He had a stone. I right. don't think Loki knew that he had a stone, he didn't but know he, what it was. he yep. had a stone. The only thing he looked at it was that yo. I can control people. He he said, this is the, the scepter, scepter is that you are to wield to control people. That's why when he goes and uh, he taps Stark on the chest, it doesn't work. Why? Because it goes back to my theory that I said before. Or the fact that I, I, I said before is that the same technology that is cre- uh, that created that scepter is also the same thing that Stark created in the cave for his thing. Oh, for his his for, uh, for, for, the circle. For, 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 thank the yeah. arc reactor. The arc reactor technology is it has some of the technology that are in these mind stones. Hence, why Howard Stark is really to blame yeah. for all of this because he's the person that had this great vision of the arc reactor creating unlimited energy, creating clean energy. So here is a question that I'm sure people who are watching want to ask, right? Okay. And then hopefully you guys can help answer this. Uh, if Nick Fury had the pager to get Captain Marvel. Marvel. Why didn't he page her earlier? Good question. Well, this is a really, really, really simple question and simple answer. Captain Marvel said, under no circumstances are you to page me unless it's of the utmost importance. Right. She said, only call me unless I, I am the last resort. And why that is is because, again, she's powerful. Like I got we've, stuff to do. I'm way on the yeah, other galaxies like, and stuff. Like, she now knows that, again, the Kree civilization, they're not bad people. They, they were people help. that were actually pillaged and killed, and now they're, they're, they're just rummaging around different universes trying to live and just be normal human beings. But because of that, she makes it uh, her job to then go to these different galaxies and now kill all of these other civilizations that have now either harmed the Kree or trying to restore order, to, to, to give you the Cliff Notes version. But she specifically said... Only page me unless it's some real, real beef. Man, listen, I I would have probably paged a little bit earlier because if I saw like some of the powerful ones that I thought were powerful getting yeah. washed but and it went down to maybe like one stone where it's like, damn, one stone or we all are dead. I need remember, a page her. Yeah. Fury, Fury didn't see all that. Correct. He didn't see all that. He was in New York the whole mm-hmm. time this was happening. It's crazy. No that, one, that no one bothered. Time. No one bothered to hit him up. They got cell phones well, no, and stuff. You gotta think. Shield, <laughs> Shield is disbanded. Yeah, that's the thing. Shield I know. Is I'm, jo- no, I'm yeah. joking. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, Fury is retired technically. Yeah. Too. Yeah. They're like, all right. He, he just on his on his espionage. Right but that's crazy. That's crazy. How if they didn't disband, it didn't have that kind of like. Because, uh, you know, they had a, a, a rough spot. Yeah. If they didn't have that rough spot and also didn't disband it, this this whole thing could have been probably handled a little bit differently and maybe even better. 100%. 100%. Um, so I think I think it's interesting. I'm going to give you my guys my pick. And, again, this is just because I've done so much research. I have some, some, some theories to back it up. T'Challa's sister. Shuri? Shuri. Oh. Well. Shuri. The reason why I'm going with Shuri, and I know this is an unlikely candidate judging by your faces. No, it's hear. not. No, it's Shur- not. Shuri <laughs> is the smartest person out of all of them. In the universe. In the she's universe. Yeah. She the is universe. the she's smartest person. Well, yeah, until that girl with the dinosaur comes, yes. Well, yeah, and, and outside mm-hmm. of uh, Miss That's Kitty. That's in the comic yeah, books one. Then she ends up being the smartest, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. But Shuri is the smartest one. Do you guys remember when... Um, in Infinity War, when they bring a uh, vision to uh, to to the, 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 the uh, no, what was the, what was the name of the lab? Well, I'll just say Wakanda. Wakanda. I can't remember the name of the Wakanda. lab. Sorry, but they bring him to Wakanda, and they say, well, yeah, he's he's badly wounded because he's now being poisoned by when he got stabbed by the step uh, the scepter. So they're like, yo, you know, she says, well, why didn't you guys do X, Y, and Z? This would have been much easier. You could have just recreated his structure and did all this. And Banner and 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 Stark look at her like. Oh shit! I I didn't even think to think of that, and she she does she does it in a snap of a finger. I think she is the strongest person, and she will be the, the one of the defining factors. Maybe I think you switched it a little bit. No. Mm-mm. Vision. They took Vision 
to her to get the stone out. Correct. To get the mind stone out. Correct. But in, uh, upon and that's them what she was doing saying, that, why wasn't it wired differently to him? It would have been easier to take out, is what she was saying. No, I. From, so from what I what I read was she was saying, well, no, you could have made him better in the sense of like, let's say if he was dying, even if you wanted to save him, you could have structured his body differently. Yeah, that's what I'm, we, we're saying the same okay, thing. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, so we're saying the same thing, yeah, yeah. But that's what she was saying. And again, you got to think about it. You have uh, Bruce Banner, uh, genius. You have Stark, genius. Two geniuses working to that now create Vision. And you have this one little girl that comes in and just just destroys their entire theory on on creating someone or or trying to house this this power. I think it's a lot of people in Wakanda stronger. I'm stronger, um, smarter than Banner and. And, uh, oh yeah, Stark. yeah. I yeah. mean, they look what they built. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they got, <laughs> that's a good got, point. Like, like when um, when the agent got down there, when they took him there. And, yeah. You know, they popped a bead right off, threw it in his back, and he got up and was like, "Yo, there's no way you can recover from this in in a day." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it, they just ahead. Well, that's a good point. They're just ahead, they're just ahead of they're everything. Like the Chinese. Yeah. They're <laughs> <laughs> facts. Oh my God. Facts. But I find it, I, what I find really interesting was like when those posters came out, where it's like if it's black and white, mm -hmm. you know. But you know what? A lot of people were like, "Oh my God, that means she's dead. They're dead." Nowhere on those posters does it say anything them anything about them being dead. It just says Endgame and in black and white. Yeah. We don't know what that means. Yeah. And for all we know, it could be multiple things. It could be the multi universe. Mm -hmm. It could be that they were just the one ones that went with that that example or or that scenario yeah. and if they replay it then they all come back I do have a question for you guys too, yeah. by the way mm -hmm. speaking of Wakanda and all that so T'Challa's gone mm -hmm. is of course it's all speculation we'll find out when the movie drops is there a, a new king slash Black Panther in his absence I would say uh, I would say yeah and 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 I think the person leading the charge would either be uh, Mbaku. Mbaku. Yeah. I, I have Mbaku or yeah, I would say Mbaku because they wouldn't. They want to uh, give it to other they guys. Give it they to try to guys. overthrow him. Yeah, I, I would say Mbaku <laughs> is probably. Mbaku yeah. yeah, would be like the current black. Yeah, hundred percent. I got him being. Yeah, because yeah. Shiri's not around. So hold on, I think we're walking oh. into a trap here. It's not really a trap. I just <laughs> want to know. How, I hope that doesn't happen, because in the movie Black Panther, uh, Killmonger burnt all the flowers. Except the one that you're they stole. Right, you're 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 right. And you're the right. last one that they stole was the one that brought T'Challa back. Mm. So now there's no flowers. So now there's no more flowers. Wait, so this is, oh my gosh, it this just made my mind go. It was a trick so question. If it, it was a trick question. <laughs> no, but also. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you walked right into it. I did. It. Damn. But, okay, but this is making my mind roll. Because then if he, if, uh, if Doctor Strange rewinds everything, then would he be able to rewind where that scenario wouldn't have happened? Well, would he, yeah. How far would he even go back? Would he only did like how far did he even set it? it that's the question too. Well, my thing is, um, and that's what he may I, not have said anything. Yeah, that's, yeah. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking. He may not have said anything. I think that's he, true. Time I think travel he, may end up being. I mean, and this is just a prediction going way out there. Yeah. yeah. Time travel might end up being unlocked between Ant Man and Captain Marvel. It has nothing to do with Doctor Strange. Yeah. Mm. I also yeah that. I also yeah. think that um, I think that. The, the the teams are gonna uh, the teams are gonna part ways. Two there, there's gonna be two groups. I think that Stark, Ant Man, and I just want to see how Stark I'll say Stark and Ant yeah I'll say Stark and Ant Man right now. I think they're the ones that are going to really delve into the quantum realm only because Stark is really good obviously with quantum physics and and and, and that and obviously Ant Man. Being a, a world traveler he's at this point, it. yeah, he's been, he's been in them streets. <laughs> he sees it. So yeah, right. so I, I think that that's gonna happen. And then I also think that Thor and Captain Marvel, uh, Captain uh, America, Black Widow, uh, War Machine, and Ronin. and who? Ronin. And Ronin. Ronin. Can't forget Ronin. Yeah, yeah, Ronin. Listen. <laughs> Oh, go, go, get, let let them know. Yeah. They, they might be hearing this name for the first yeah, time. Yeah. So for those that don't know. Ronan is was Black Hawk, right? Um, Hawk. Hawkeye. I keep saying Hawkeye. Black Hawk. I'm thinking of DC. Because he's black. Sorry. Yeah, but that's he's okay. black. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, never, nevertheless, <laughs> um, the reason why he transforms into this character known as Ronan is because, again, during the snap, his family is killed. 
So again, another fact Whoa. a fact about this the snapping. It's not. I, I, I know a lot of people thought that it was only uh, heroes that were killed or super. No, or, it's or, the, the population. It's correct. When he when when Thanos says no, I want to clean out the population. He's saying people, families, kids, everything, half everything. The universe. Yeah. If it's yeah. Living. I need half of the. I, I need the half purge of with the snap. Yeah, that's it's what happened. You think about it, <laughs> huh? It's kind of late when you think about it. I, ice, relax. <laughs> nah, I'm good with that. <laughs> but um, because of that, he did uh, it random. He gave everybody a fair. Well, he time. did. He did. Yeah. But did. because it, of that. But how his whole family then? That's not as random. Yo, can you imagine that? Just a sidebar. Can you imagine just sitting at the table eating breakfast well, and your kids just d- d- well, turn I'm into? Glad you, I'm glad you <laughs> said that. If you see the trailer, he's out there teaching one of the kids how to how, how, to, how to shoot the correct, arrow. Correct. Correct. And. Imagine if it happens like yeah, one thing. yeah, and yeah. Okay, let's go. And That's just, gonna you know, yeah. like, it's just and he looks and says, "All right, good shot." And look back and it's a bunch of fucking dust. And then yeah. he runs into the house. Wife's gone. Yeah, uh, everything's bro. gone. It even got to be all of them. He could lose one kid and lose it. Yeah, I yeah, think that's true. It. And and I think that that this movie got to hurry up, man. Yeah, they, it has to hurry <laughs> up. <laughs> I this, up this, Can we time <laughs> travel to <laughs> April twenty second or twenty sixth? Too much right now. This Go is on. definitely what what brings him back. But Ronan is 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 a samurai. He is an assassin. Um, <laughs> so he bad. now is trained in a samurai. He also has a, a really really dope sleeve that symbolizes what he believes in now and just straight murder. Like he he he's moving. Ronan is is one of the more dangerous characters. Think of Ronan as being the Punisher, just a samurai. That's literally how he he operates. Um, but because of that, they have to go and get him back. Now, the, obviously, you know, they're, they're assembling the Avengers yet again because it's coming to a close for Phase 3. But also, again, you got to start where you finish. They're gonna, they're, 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 they started with, with this core team, and they're going to end with the core team. Um, so Ronan's going to be really, really important. Okay. Let's get to predictions. Oh my gosh! Let's get Haven't to we already been doing that? I got, I got, <laughs> Haven't I got, we already like been doing that? that? I don't even want to say. Yeah, I've been I, sitting on two. Of them. I, yeah, I'm gonna sit on one. Whoo. Uh, well, after um, camera, you gotta drop it. Yeah, after camera, I drop it. I don't want to ruin mom, it. Only just because, again, I've seen certain things, and I don't, I don't want to ruin it. I stumbled on something. That uh, I don't I don't want to say on air. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But but we don't know nothing though. Yeah, we don't know anything. So it's not That's true. If, if we write, I'm even just, even though like I said, if any of my predictions. Come out to be correct. I'm just gonna pop shit that I'm that dude. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, fact. I like, saw this shit. Yeah, I saw it. I've been six called years it. Ago, I saw this happen. Marvel hire me. I can write the saying? script. I like, wrote you that. know, it's mad stuff we could do. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going all the way. All right, I'm, I'm rolling. rolling. I'm, I'm rolling. rolling. I ain't say it. I'm rolling. Um, I have, uh, and obviously this was leaked. If you guys don't know this again, you have no business on this platform. Um, Deadpool again was seen on the set of uh, of uh, Avengers, uh, specifically in Avengers One. Avengers One, he spotted on that set walking with Captain America, uh, an, an, an older. Tony Stark, because Tony Stark again, he, he, you know, he has those those cool haircuts and the flare outs. Particularly in this shot, he has on a particular suit, and he also has um, uh, gray streaks on the side of his head, which lets you know that this happens around the time that, uh, or it happens after the Infinity War. So you can see some time travel. I don't know how Deadpool in, is incorporated, but he was spotted on set. They probably did that to throw everybody off. Yeah, that's what I think. I think this was a misdirect. They're terrible for this. Uh, and that's the other thing you guys have to keep into play. Again, all of this stuff that we're talking about right now, it's... Nothing is confirmed. No yeah, we don't have any inside information. You can I go. You can go look this up. Say, yeah, what's really good? Like, like none like, of this is. Yeah, confirmed. and even still, when they're filming, they're obviously gonna be. It's gonna be separate, so not everyone's yeah. gonna be able to see everyone's scene well, inside like, the movie. That. They said they filmed certain scenes multiple times, just so that certain actors don't really know what's in the movie. And what's yeah. Not. Like, and not fucked up that got to be. And 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 the funny a, a snapple fact like, about that is because that started on. with Tom Holland because he kept leaking information. He kept talking. He kept talking and shooting. He's like, yeah, yeah, someone's gonna die. And, and fix your yeah, so now they don't. They they, they started, the same scene thirteen <laughs> yeah, times. Word, word. And uh, it's rumored that they kept they they now give Tom Holland the script once he reaches the set yep. and then take the script from him yep. so he can't. You act he, out he, this. He, yeah, and that's it. He's doing his scenes and then that's it. And they don't film this movie in order. That's the that's the one thing. I found thing. that out, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, that's yeah. kind of dope." They yeah. do not film it the way we see it is not yeah. how it's filmed. Yeah, it's not filmed. So like that. you really, if you are, yeah, and I, and from what I was reading before, I think they they filmed like some of it together almost. Like, so you were su- shooting a scene, and you didn't know if it was for Endgame or 
Infinity War at a time. Yeah. That's smart. That's fucking dope. It's cost efficient. It's, it's, it's they cost know efficient. what they need. So they're like, oh, we on this set. Let's get as much as we can out yeah. on this set. Yeah. Right, this, this is my prediction, right? Everybody lean in. This is my prediction. All right. <laughs> Zoom in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. Howard Stark makes an appearance in Endgame. You heard it here first. I said it. He's there. He's there. They go back. Damn. And him and, and him and Tony have a face to face. I'm, Wait, but I'm, that was that was part. That was what I yeah, said. Yeah, that was, was part said. of his thing. That's what I said. That's it was like, he, ba- well, you could say it, but that was part. Of, me, did you? No, I didn't. No, no, he, I, no, he I, did. I still, I, I didn't uh, still, no, no, you. Yeah, they you, they you never were, had this yeah, conversation. Yeah, I just okay. know because okay. Brandon and I have had conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But his, but his was a little bit different though. Yeah, his mine, a little mine's a little bit different. So mine is, they literally just go back in time and go get Stark's father and say, yo. Remember that? Remember that technology you were talking about? Oh. That, that 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 you that you oh. said I would have? It, it, it's right here, fam. This we it. we need it. We need it. This it. Yeah, this is it right this here. Just right open here. the laptop. You, oh, what you, you do? You need a flash drive? Like what? You, you do? What do you need? Let, I, I can I can we share it to you. Yeah. Whatever you need. Help it. me. Yeah. Help you. Oh, yeah. Bring it to so him. so so that's back. what I think. I I think uh, and that's why I keep saying Stark's father, Howard Stark. He really, really is important because, again, he set up, uh, he set up Stark to kind of know what, where to go. But I also think we haven't seen the last of him. Um, mm-hmm. And I think that he will come back into play. Same thing with Doctor Strange. That's why I said I like your Doctor, Doctor Strange theory. Again, uh, you know that even in, in the Doctor Strange movie, as he was on his deathbed and, and trying to be re- revived, his actual spirit is still out fighting people and, and doing all torts, sorts of stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, see Doctor Strange's spirit speaking to important characters like Tony Stark, like Captain Marvel, like all of these people that... Uh, um, he feels can can facilitate the vision of obviously taking back the gauntlet and or restoring order. I got a question for y'all. Mm-hmm. Too. So outside of, okay, with Infinity War, you got two type of deaths. Mm-hmm. You know, you have your real deaths, which is your Loki, Heimdall, um, Gamora. Gamora, yeah. Well, hold on, hold on. I got to stop wait, you there. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, we're going the same? Just I, I think, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. And then you got your snap deaths. Yeah. Which is, you know, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which we don't really know that as a death. Yeah. It's, it's just, just mm. I erased milk cart half. milk cart missing. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna say, we're gonna <laughs> milk say, cart we're, missing. We'll say deaths and we'll say e- erasing <laughs> yeah. because that's what happened. He said when he erased half the universe, I erased yeah. them. Yeah. So, my question then goes to those who died. Do y'all think we'll see any of them again? I think so. And if so, who? I think we'll see all of them again just because, again, time travel is going to be very, very important. I think they're, that, that they're going to go back. All right, fuck it. Wait, I'm wait, the, wait. The deaf, the deaf ones or the yeah, snap yeah, ones? Not the snap ones. ones. All right, I'm I a, feel like as tied to Thanos, we're probably going to see Gamora. Yeah. All right. So this is what I'm, I'm going to say one of, one of my uh, things that I saw, how I know that time travel is going to be important. This guy read all the leaks. I, 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 I did. I did. Leaks. I'm sorry. I did. And then told me um, I didn't read any leaks. No, 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 no. You, you, uh, I think we might have saw this. Well, no. This was really debunked with the first. Uh, trailer that was released for Endgame. It's really a simple one. If you look at uh, Tony Stark's armor, the name of his armor is very, very important. It's, it's. I think it's the Mach 82. When we looked at Infinity War, he was at Mach 52, which lets me know that he he, he does it in variations of time. Oh, yeah, time yeah. has passed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time has passed. The reason why it's interesting, though, is because when you see the Mach 82, and again, I could, I, the Mach may be wrong, the number, but there is a gap. Just look it up. Oh, one the, more prediction. The, the Mach 82, as he's flying in the air, um, it looks like he's hovering over the battle that happens in the first Avengers it, on the bridge. It looks like he's, he's, he's there. And it also looks like when he's talking to Captain America, he's speaking to uh, a, a younger Captain America. It doesn't look like the old Captain America. That's how it lets me know that time travel is definitely happening because that suit does not belong in that scenery, and the, and, and the time has passed. Mm-hmm. Time has passed. So, and, I, and the only reason I figured that out, again, because I've watched all of these literally, religiously, and when I looked at Avengers specifically, and I looked at the armor that mm. Tony has on to the armor that appears in the new trailer, it doesn't match up. And the numbers is what threw me off. Because I said, wait, he was at 52. How is he at Mach 89? <laughs> I'm confused. And so when I looked at it, I said, oh. I'm 
about to jump all the way out with this one. That's my prediction. Two words. Pepper Potts. Remember the end of Iron Man 3? Okay. I do think from the trailer, that message makes its way to her. She's had a suit. I think she has another suit. Ah. She has, and she has one of these higher up suits. I got you. You're right. Because now, all right, so for those that, don't under, uh, that haven't seen, let's say you, you've never seen Iron Man 3. That was a fucking phenomenal. Damn, I, that may change wow. my theory. All right. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's so fun yeah, about that's this, That's what though. I like about this Yeah, shit. that's what's so it's fun about this. It's the one little thing you're not thinking about, so, and that's going to be the one. So that's the thing. All right, so let me, think, let, let me bring you guys up to speed really, really quickly, not to cut you no, off. No, no, good. What Ice is saying is simple. In Iron Man 3, um, after he's fighting um, the Mandarin and doing all this stuff, Tony builds all of these suits and it's probably one of the best the scenes Iron the Iron Legion thank you mm -hmm. he builds all of these suits in, in, in protection of he, it was it was his way of, of stepping down from being Iron Man but still having Iron Man present in that same instance there was a, a specific suit that was created for Pepper that actually saves Pepper and, and then Pepper then saves Tony, Tony. but the, the, the reason why it's so important to Ice's point is that the communication in the headsets allowed them to speak so because of that, I think you may be right. I think it's not far-fetched that Tony, that wasn't a, a last message that was being sent to the universe and to Pepper. I think he was directly communicating with Pepper in hopes that a signal would pick up because he's specifically recording it from his, his from helmet. His helmet. To broadcast and to her. he knows that Pepper loves her. He knows that Pepper's not giving up on him. So, yeah, she's sitting there at and the desk looking for feeds, looking for waves, and, and it, I think she finds it. And this part here That's is, actually a really good prediction. This right here <laughs> is, is, is I'm, not, I'm not as familiar with the comics, so this might sound crazy. I don't know how it goes in the comics. But um, dude did something to Pepper at the end of three. Yeah. And she didn't die. Yeah, yeah. I think that may... And like come back into play as well. Well, in the comics, because she didn't, she didn't. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And you know, everybody else, they kind of exploded, mm -hmm. and she was about to, and then kept it. Yeah. So well, I don't know. again, there, there's, again, that's just little little it, scenes that happened, and then they never spoke about it again, which tells me we're gonna see something. Well, there's a, a bunch of villains that they could bring back. Uh, again, that you you don't know anything of. Even in even in uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming, the Fiddler, the dude that is working on the Vulture's tech that creates the the, the guns and all that, mm. he's an actual villain that is very very powerful in Marvel MC. So there's a lot of there's a lot of people that could come back up that they could either use to their leverage to 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 beat Thanos just because you see what happens, yeah. or they could just be popping up as villains. But we don't we don't know yet. I got a question, Hold on, let me pass the mic. Hold on. So I got a question and a statement. To Ice's point, um, Pepper was rescue in the comics, too. So, like, have her having her own suit and different stuff, like, she definitely was, like, out here like Iron Man, too. My question is, based on a prediction, do you think we're going to get Iron Man, I mean, um, X-Men first, or are we going to get Fantastic Four, potentially, after this movie? Because I think Grey Hair Tony could low-key be a, like, a little hint towards uh, Reed Richards. So, all right. Mm, that's a good one. All right, that's actually really, really good. Okay, so here's where I think they're going to go. Only just because... Well, this is the only reason why I think that they're going to go there. Between the the um, the Fox and, and Disney finally, finally yes. reaching their, yes. their deal, it, we're good. The only thing that Fox has right now is um, a Deadpool, and they're not releasing them. We obviously know why. Phenomenal movie, box office hits, we get it. But they are allowing the crossover um, so that the Marvel MCU can incorporate uh, Deadpool into that mix. Same thing goes with Venom, right? But back to your point, um, now that... Um uh, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy is back on board with doing Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which, thank God, they resolved that. Say, I'm happy but, yeah, about thank that one. Yeah. God. God. Also, I, was back. I was... Yeah, also, I'm like, they can't just ignore Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, 3. Like, they're too, they're too important for the storyline. It's super important. Oh, so what, what happens is, at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, um, you see... The introduction of Adam Warlock. Now you only see him in a cocoon, cocoon form. Yeah. Yep. 
Be clear, you're not going to see him in the movie. He's in a cocoon form. But Adam Warlock is very, very important. One of Adam Warlock's arch nemesis happens to fall along the lines in the same storyline with Fantastic Four being Silver Surfer. Then intros possibly Galactus. So that's why they Guardians of the Galaxy could really go either which way. They could add a bunch of really, really, really strong characters, and you could see your next phase of Thanos's, I'll say, uh, in the MCU based off of Guardians of the Galaxy. They really, really could do that. But at the same time, they can go completely left. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you know, and this much I do know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a comic guy. I did read the Infinity War comics. I was just so amped for the movie. Yeah. I read everything I could. I didn't know that it was Silver Surfer. The one that they that he sent down the way Correct. he sent Hawk. Correct. Like they so they switch out things. They tell the same story, but they switched out the characters because you know we understood why they couldn't they, yeah. they didn't have Silver Surfer. Yeah. So like you're saying, they they can introduce a bunch of things and twist it up. Still mm-hmm. tell the same story. Give us totally different characters. Yeah. Like they they could go anywhere with this, bro. Yeah. This this that, that's why I phase think phase four is gonna be nuts. Yeah. I think phase four. Now, mind you, again, we have uh, phase three being super 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 stacked. We didn't even scratch the I, yeah. I don't even think we scratched the surface yet. Between now, especially with the great yeah. timing between Disney and Fox reaching the finalization, between uh, the Disney the streaming Disney platform, streaming pl- that's also gonna like, be plus, contributing to it. I I think. My money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just take take all of my money. I'm not I, even, listen, I saw it is six ninety nine yeah, a month. That's or fine. Seventy dollars a that's year. That's fine. You got this. That's 70 fine. Seventy one. seventy right there. I might pay a couple cool. years in advance. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm here. I'm really, really excited. I hope that you guys are really, really excited. We UI. all do. Uh, well, yeah, change the UI. Change the UI. <laughs> that UI is kind of trash. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Yeah, they just copied basically Apple it, it TV's like main Apple TV. menu. Yeah. It's a demo or something out. It's a it's a picture of it. Oh, a picture of yeah, it. Yeah. That's out. Like that. I'm like, yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, no, no, whoa, it's a picture out. Um, we may <laughs> we may put it in in this uh, they got in this the video. Picture out. But, it could um, be just a tester. But I think it's a tester. I don't like that. It looks too similar. Yeah, after watching you three flex your MCU chops, <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, let me make myself useful. I went, I got regular Nas's predictions. Okay, so. <laughs> and, sh- and shout out, shout out to Nas. So, yeah. Na- Nas is out. Uh, Nas is the normal person that that is here with us now. Oh, but he, he, oh yeah, so, yeah. and his name is Nas. Everyone yeah. keep stop yeah. telling to stop calling him Nas. That's his actual yeah, his government actual name. name is like- Nas. We're not calling him Nas. Just <laughs> I think it's cool. Talking about the country singing dude. No, no. Y'all, y'all, y'all moving out here. So yo, so yo, Nas thinks, or he says, Falcon becomes Captain America. Ooh, he says the thing. Avengers will be Captain Marvel. Spider-Man, Hulk, Falcon, Black Panther, and Thor. Hawkeye is going to do his own thing. Iron Man becomes AI. Pepper Potts gets her own uh, Iron Man suit. Okay. And then he says in the next movie, we'll see at least two Eternals. And he says Beta Ray Bill shows up to help uh, defeat Thanos. So I, 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 what was the last one? I'm sorry. Beta Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill. I I read that. with the horse head. Yeah, I read that. He's a... I don't follow yeah, all right. So I'm the, the only right reason right. why I, I like I like Nas's theory. Shout out to Nas. He's out doing whatever. I don't know. He didn't want to come. Now nah, let me not say that. He 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 had he had a family uh, situation. That's, I should shit it on him, right? I should leave it in there. Yeah, he didn't want to come. Yeah, I'm <laughs> he didn't want to come. But um, the only reason why I wouldn't go with I, I'm I'm rolling with Nas outside of the Beta Ray Bill only just because you can't tell Beta Ray Bill's story before you tell Adam Warlock's story. You can't. Mm. There's no way you can he, do that. He also said Adam Warlock might show I, I, up. I, I, I bet he would. I yeah, he bet did. he would. He did. I bet he would. I cut a few things that he put out in there. I, I tried to, to make it short. I was about to say. In Endgame? He has Adam Warlock showing up in Endgame? Or he, he said, no. he said, yeah, he might show up. He might show up as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a, yeah, as a, uh, like a middle uh, post credit or post credit scene. Like scene. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I definitely don't have him showing up um, during it now. Just yeah, as no. much as I've been reading about it, is it, because they wanted to introduce him in Guardians Two. Correct, correct, mm-hmm. and they held off only yeah. just because. Again, they they're they're right. going with the phases, and then we obviously got held up with Guardians of the Galaxy uh, uh, Three because of this, but. I'm not mad. I, I think Beta Ray Bill would be really, really dope. Only just because, again, you you can you can then intertwine it with the X Men. You could easily intertwine it with the X Men because they cross paths See, they in the comic, comics. They're comic nerds. Like you, you can you can do that. He he also said it's ironic that Ant Man's gonna have to give Iron Man the technology of his suit to beat Thanos mm-hmm. after uh, Hank Pym tells Iron Man's. Uh, Tells Iron Man's father he would never let a Stark have it. Uh, Correct. Get it in his hands. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's interesting. Damn, I that's like a, everything he said. Yeah. I don't even know yeah. who Beta, Beta yeah. Max Bill is. Yeah. <laughs> that actually is a really Beta Max Bill. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> why are you so stupid? <laughs> he's basically Thor with a horse with a horse's yeah, head. Yeah, that's right? all he is. But but he's um Where you get a horse head from though. All right, now, uh, I'm yeah, got the hammer and all that. He's yeah. got a, he, he, he literally is. Now we off I'm trying to think who now. he would be equivalent to. He he was. You know who he, he's. Uh, what's the guy? I don't want to get off a tangent because this is long. He's a Cree, and he was working with. Uh, he was in. He was the villain in Guardians of the Galaxy One. I want to say. The dude that looks really cool, he's a Cree. I'm having a brain fart right oh, now. Oh, he's talking about my guy. Ronan. Ronan. Ronan, Ronan, Ronan Thank the you. accuser. Ronan the accuser. Yeah, Correct. He is strong like Ronan that's the accuser. That's who you to be on the lookout for. Yeah. And that's the other person that I wanted to bring back in. <laughs> Ronan, Ronan the accuser Ronan is, is, not is dead. he's not I'm dead. Not with that. Yeah, he's not dead. He's not dead. I'm not rolling. He's, he's not dead. I'm uh, not Ronan, rolling. I'm sure, will be back. Uh, and I and I think that Ronan that's what the plan was is. All the smoke. Yeah, Ronan Ronan was fire. So, um, but yeah, I guess uh, let it, let us know what you guys think, man. I'm, we're all excited. We've been gearing up for this for quite some time. Nah, I got an outfit. Dude. Yeah, like my phone <laughs> would be understand. off. Yeah. Like I'm I'm locked I and loaded. A quantum realm hoodie. That's fire. That is dope. That's fire. I need that. Why are you ain't telling yeah, me? Shady. Oh, shit. oh wait, wait! You didn't wait, hear what that? Is, what is whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Oh, man, we he said they got it at Hot movie. Topic. That ain't rolling. <laughs> <laughs> That's the oh, one time man. I allow snitching. All but, right. Um, well, also we have to say that we are also going to give our additional thoughts after we watch it yeah, because definitely. the following Tuesday definitely. it won't be the full episode, but we will have a portion of the episode where we're like definitely. see definitely. if we were right on some things I'm or not. Come back or... and rock with y'all. I'll come back to rock with y'all. Listen, that. man. I'll come Listen, back to rock. This is my guy, man. Maybe we, maybe, maybe we should take some fan calls. It's my guy, man. During during, during our uh, after we watch after yeah. we watch Endgame, but let's talk to some fans. What y'all think? I'm down let's, with that. That's a good idea. All right, so we're gonna kick it with y'all. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We worked hard on this, and uh, I hope that it, it did at least fill in some gaps. I know it's the yeah. super, super Cliff Notes version, and again, we're not perfectionists, and again, I know we skipped a lot, but we wanted to give you guys um, pretty much the nuts and bolts of everything, so going into this movie, you can enjoy it the same yeah. way that we do, even more. Be sure to subscribe. Grassroots Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, hit the notification noti button on the upper right hand corner to be notified of all of our videos, including more stuff like this. And let us know what you think about this. Let us know if you want yep. us to do more of this. Um, that said, I'm Brandon Killer BH Hall. I'm Aaron Ashley Wait, Simon. Can I add something? Or are you oh. closed out already? Oh, no, we're not closed out. Oh, no. I just want to add one thing. And, and I'm talking to you directly. When I say you, I just mean everybody. <laughs> Bro, if you're not going to see the movie Thursday, even Friday. Yeah, good point. Don't go on social media crying and complaining about the spoilers. Yeah. Listen, people have been waiting for this. Yeah. They're going to talk about it. I'm going to yeah. talk about it. Yeah, I'm talking about I it. I have a Thursday 5 o'clock, I'm sorry, Thursday 6 o'clock uh, movie ticket. Yeah. By 9 o'clock, I'm talking about it. Yeah. I know, I'm muting you guys. Yeah. No, I already no, no. planned it. You, you, what, I already I, planned it. Yeah, I'm not even going to be on, I'm not even really going to be on Twitter Thursday, yeah. Friday. That's what you do. Well, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Like, uh, I don't understand for, the mute thing. That's yeah, my whole point. For, for those that follow Ice, he's notorious for doing that. I often will mute him when I can't see movies as well. I just will don't be tell on, I will be on Twitter. Yeah, I will be yeah. on Twitter. I just won't be revealing anything, but I'm just telling y'all right now, I'm only giving you guys legitimately 2 days. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you right now. No, wait, till Saturday. Just do it till Saturday. Cuz if you don't if you don't watch it by Saturday, yeah, like, you, we can't wait all, anymore. All, all I'm watching it Saturday at 9 a.m. Yeah, Check this out. All bets are off. Or stay off social media yeah. until you watch it. Yeah, definitely. That's it. Well, I mean, it's, gonna get it's, it's by hard because some, people, some people's it. work requires them to be on social media. Like, the reason why I'm muting people is because my work requires me to be on yeah. social media. Well, that's... So my, I can't be, well, full, I can't be fully off gonna, Twitter. Twitter's going to spoil it right after yeah, the first five. Let me tell you. All right, so United States premiere is... Thursday the 25th, right? Mm -hmm. United Kingdom, Europe, they see it Wednesday the 24th. It's spoiled already. Yeah. Yeah. yeah By the time Wednesday gets here, it's spoiled. Yeah. yeah. And they're hours ahead. It's spoiled. But you know what? When it comes to movies like this, I don't look at spoilers as a bad thing because if I no. know certain no because if I know certain stuff and I watch it, you know, when people when they watch movies, they got to watch it a second time to catch things. If there's certain spoilers that I come across, I don't even get upset because when I see those parts, I'm like, this is, I need to take it, it makes it, me dissect I need to, a little I need bit. Pause. Yeah. I need to take it all in. Yeah. 
Yeah, me my too. own. Me too. This is the one thing where, and I'm really big on into that as far as movies. I don't like to spoil shit, or I don't like to read spoils leading up to it because I, it really does ruin it for me. This is the one though I don't play with, like. Don't don't send me a text, a, a video that you've seen in the theater. I yeah, will block yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. Like, which is why I gotta go see it first. Yeah, yeah. like don't don't, don't do that. This is don't ruin this. Don't ruin this. So and it's not even like I'm not going on and like because B said I'm notorious for going on to spoil it. Well, no, I you're did. going on to just talk. There are a bunch of people that I interact with who were all planning on this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are all at five and six o'clock showings. Yeah. On yeah. Thursday. Yeah. For this reason. Yeah. And when we get out the theater. It's People cool are talking. Yeah. And I feel you. That's just what it is. I was going to go... I spoiled Civil War. I'll admit that. Yeah. Spoiled it. Screenshots, the whole shit. I had an early leaked copy way before it hit theaters. It was like a week before it hit the theaters. I And and the scene when, uh, <laughs> when Spider-Man <laughs> took Captain America's uh, shield. Yeah, I remember and, that. Yeah, because that, everybody went nuts. Yeah. Yeah, I screenshot it. Yeah. And people were highly upset. Like, yo, my nigga, really? <laughs> That was a really bad leak, by the way. Like, no one knew that Spider-Man was in it. Right. Until you did that, FYI. I, so. I, yeah, I know. N well, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but that's <laughs> an avoid. He did, okay. That's oh why I did that one scene. No, I know, but it, that, that wasn't... Uh. Well, I don't do that type of stuff no more is what I'm saying. Oh, you're reformed. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's reformed. Oh, cool. He's okay. cool. So you know, I am going to talk about it, though. Okay. So do you know why the reason I'm watching the movie on Saturday is well, because the Thursday tickets were all front row, and yeah. I feel like that will, I won't get the full experience. Yeah. Like, I yeah, can't no. do front row, so yeah. I was like, I'm willing to wait till Saturday I where I get able to Check see everything out. in full screen. Yeah. I can't my, do that next time. My, man wanted, my man's wanted to go see the, uh, the Thursday 5 o'clock joint, right? Yeah. <laughs> he got IMAX 3D front row. Oh my gosh! What is he doing with his life? He's gonna be blind. <laughs> like, fam, he's gonna be blind. Why? There, there should be a health hazard. There's no reason. Like, can you imagine sitting IMAX front row of that big ass? And you like with 3D yeah. glasses, like, 3D on. glasses, fam. You're Everything's gonna, gonna be going over his fucking head. You're gonna develop epilepsies or something. Something is gonna happen. Like it. Oh, it, it I, gonna yeah, die. that's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. I mean, New York movie theaters. At least some of them have the like reclining chairs, but some of those like where yeah. they don't, you're gonna look up. It don't matter. Yeah. Like, 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 first row I can't did, do it. I did the um the eye pick. I mean, we're way off topics. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's at the end. It's okay. Yeah. I did the eye pick and um got the little chase lounge shit. I was like, mm -hmm. all right, yeah, we about to do it. I got in there. I said, God damn, the screen's right here. Yeah, yeah. This is you shouldn't put these here. Yeah, yeah. Like we was like, there shouldn't even be front rows. Remove the yeah. remove the three rows yeah, and that's the, it. The, the three Those first rows should never I be there. Maybe the again. fourth, depending on how the the, the layout is. You should never. Yeah. You should never. Yeah. So we don't. Question for everybody: How did y'all get y'all Avengers tickets? Because it was hell. Yeah. Um, Took patience, man. Yeah. Oh, I had I had uh, two phones, two laptops, yeah. Yeah. just and it just kept going and going and going. And then I, I had access early, but it was like the front rows, and I said, "Screw it, I don't, I'm not doing that." And that's when I got the I picked the Saturday at 9 a.m. Yeah. early. Good job, good job. All right, we're officially out of here. Yeah, my bad. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys again. Yes. I, 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 we already gave our close out. I'm Brandon Killer BH Hall. I'm Aaron Ashley Simon. I'm Wilson. I'm officially ice. And we out. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Grass, 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 grass.